On some rain this morning, too. We do have a few light showers out there this morning. Not everyone is going to see it, and if you do see it, it's going to be fairly light or even just a sprinkle. But the potential will be there at least through the mid morning. So maybe after 8, 9 o'clock, we'll see that chance taper off. Temperatures start off in the 30s, and then by noon, we're up to 45 degrees. Still looking at a lot of clouds, but they'll be breaking up through the afternoon. Partly sunny at 5 o'clock, 46. And in the evening, partly cloudy and 44 degrees around 7 o'clock. A northwest wind today between 5 and 10 miles per hour. Here Here's live Doppler 2 HD showing the rain coming through the area. We've got some down towards Butler, Warren, and Clinton counties for sure. And then it's just been very light up here in Montgomery County. You can see around Dayton having a shower come through, and right now around Huber Heights, extending up towards the southern portion there of Miami County, and even into Clark and Green counties. A few light showers are going to be possible. And a wider view shows that this is pretty much it. It's this weak area of low pressure that is going to continue to work east over the area. And as it does, those showers come with it. But then once it's east of us, the shower chance will taper off for the rest of the day. We're sitting right at 40 still with lots of clouds in the area. And a west wind at 5 gives us a wind chill of 37 degrees. We don't have any fog out there, thankfully, this morning. We were plagued with that for several mornings in a row. Uh, we have 37 up towards Wapakoneta, Bell Fountain, and Urbana. A lot of us are in the 30s here, 37 in Springfield. But then in the southern portion of the Miami Valley, quite a few 40s from Dayton down towards Eaton and Oxford, all right at 40. We've got a warming trend as we head actually towards the second half of the week and heading into the weekend. Thursday's high is 53, 58 on Friday. And by the time we hit Saturday, we're looking at the potential of low 60s, believe it or not. So a decent warm up as this week goes on. Here's future tracks starting us off with lots of clouds, and even that slight chance of a shower is going to be there through 7, 8, 9 o'clock. But we get to the afternoon, we expect dry weather. Here's partly sunny skies for the drive home at 5 o'clock, and overnight will be partly cloudy and kind of cold as we drop back into the 30s, but really above normal tonight. Tomorrow afternoon, clouds any in the morning will be breaking up. We'll get back to a good deal of sunshine through the day, and we expect dry conditions on Tuesday. 48 will be the high today after an early morning shower. The afternoon looks partly sunny and cool with a light breeze coming in from the northwest. Tonight's low dips down to 35, partly cloudy and cold with a southerly wind developing. will help tomorrow get a little bit warmer, up near 50. will be partly sunny and dry Tuesday. And then your Storm Team 2 seven-day forecast as we head into Wednesday, the shower chance comes back. Definitely not a washout, plenty of dry time, right back up to 50. And then we go into Thursday, Friday, and there's the warming trend taking us into the upper 50s as we finish the week and the low 60s as we start off next weekend.